Hey, good afternoon. This is Scott, and we are going to go ahead and explore another Washington State wine today. We are going to go ahead, now eight months ago, I reviewed another 14 hands, but today we're going to go ahead and review 14 hands, the reserve, 2014 Sangiovese. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Scott, and you have tuned in to YouTube's only YouTube channel that really focuses on, on Washington State wines and spirits, but not exclusively. But today it is a continuation of Washington Wine Month, and we're going to go ahead and explore a Sangiovese. Now, Sangiovese is an Italian grape varietal, probably the most uh, planted varietal in all of Italy, but... This is Washington State, and even though it takes up a very small section of uh, acreage, it is a grape that is doing very well here in the state of Washington. Now, this is 14 hands. 14 hands you can get in almost any grocery store around the country, except for the reserve. The reserve is uh, uh, left for their own club members, and you can buy it directly out of the winery out in... Oh, I want to say it's Patterson, Washington. That's what it was. Anyways, um, I'm a real big fan of Sangiovese. Now, I bought this bottle, I want to say, three years ago. And Sangioveses, uh, especially high acidic Sangioveses, have a tendency to, to age really well. However, let's go ahead and take a look at see how this is done. Now, on the nose... I'm getting a balsamic note, sun-dried tomatoes, red currant, sort of peppery note, and sage. And there's also a slightly earthy note to this, which I like it. I like a Sangiovese that has an earthy note, but it's kind of kind of a I don't know, kind of an off note to it. Let's go ahead and take a sip of this, shall we? Oh, before we do that, the color on this, this is a deep ruby color, and it is not very translucent at all. And the legs on this are slow and thick. So, I do like nose in a wine. This is a very large bodied wine. On the palate, I'm getting that red currant. Uh, I'm getting a sage note. That sun dried tomato is kind of transformed into a, uh, a roasted tomato. There is a leather note, um, sort of like uh, fresh leather. The uh, the red fruit on it, other than red currant, I didn't get this on the nose, but there's a black cherry note to this as well. And that earthy note's kind of transformed into a clay note. Um, it's kind of odd, actually. Let's go ahead and one more sip here. Okay. Thank God. I opened this up about an hour ago and I initially took a sip and it left me shocked to be honest with you. I, I, I thought the, the, it had gotten corked but now that it's had a chance to open up and I should have done this I, I've had this experience with Sangiovese especially from the Horse Heaven Hills region and Sangiovese that have been in my cellar for a couple years um, I should have decanted this. and I, I have had a chance to let it oxidize a little bit. But now the finish, I'm getting a much more smoother finish. I am getting a slightly bitter note on the tail end of it. But it's still a rather long finish. The, the flavors um, that I was getting on the nose that transferred over to the palate, I, I, that black cherry and tomato note, have really kind of uh, finished this off. That earthy note is there, but that, uh, or the clay note, 
but it it actually finishes rather quickly. Um, the alcohol on this, by the way, is 14.5%. You can definitely taste the alcohol on this. And this is from somebody who is a serious bourbon whiskey scotch guy as well. The fact that I can take the, taste the alcohol in a 14.5% wine, that's saying something. Uh, the body on this, this is a medium plus. This is a juicy, heavy bodied, medium, medium to heavy bodied uh, wine that is going to go well with a pasta dinner, a steak or roast, or even a stew. Um, sweetness on this, this wine may have walked by a sugar cane, but it didn't pick anything up. I mean, there's no sweetness on this wine at all. If you are looking for a sweet red, don't buy this wine. Um, tannins, this is again a medium plus tannic wine. It, it doesn't give you that pucker factor, but um, the tannins are there. The acidity, this is a meat, high minus to a high acidic wine. This will age for a long time. But again, with that high, uh, high acidity, I really think probably should let this decant. Um, what am I going to rate this on my scale? Probably an 84 out of 100. Um, I'm not going to go out and, unless I'm in Patterson and I go to the winery, I'm not going to become a wine club member of this winery. Uh, 14 Hands, for those that don't know, is also part of the Chateau Saint Michel family. They're all owned by the same umbrella corporation. And they produce, uh, their entry level wines are exactly that. They are entry level. I consider the 14 Hands wine lineup. Um, and a lot of those wines you can find in the five to fifteen dollar range. Um, this one here did cost me about twenty five or thirty dollars. Would I buy this one again? Probably not. I've had much better Sangiovese. Um, if this were a twenty dollar wine or a fifteen dollar wine, I'd have no problem. I'd buy it again. But it's not. Um, it's not. Doesn't mean it's a bad wine. Don't don't get me wrong. It's just. I don't think the value is there for the 14 hands reserve. Now, when I originally tasted it, obviously I bought it. I thought it did have it, but it has not. Now that my palate's a little bit more developed, I think uh, something like this, this is going to be a wine that if you want to go ahead and buy it and you don't want to dip into your private reserves of a boutique winery, go ahead and buy this and, you know, enjoy it. So, that being said, thank you very much for tuning in. If you like this, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button on the, uh, on the screen there. Uh, that's going to help uh, get this video a little bit more disseminated out there. Please go ahead and hit subscribe. And when you do hit subscribe, go ahead and you'll see a little bell icon show up. Go ahead and hit the bell icon. That way, when I upload more of these videos, you guys will be notified when I have a bright idea to go ahead and do a wine review like this. Have you had 14 hands? Have you had any of the 14 hands reserve, uh, the, the, bleh, the reserve Sangiovese? Uh, have you had the basic 14 hands Sangiovese? Is there another Washington State Sangiovese or even a California or an Italian Sangiovese? You guys recommend that I give it a try that maybe would be similar to this. Go ahead and post that comments down below. Other than that, again, please, as always, please drink responsibly. And life is too short for either bad wine or bad whiskey. Cheers. Yeah, I should have let it decant.